the trip down here. Yeah, kudos for him. Two, one, go! All right, it's going to be Pokemon Trainer versus Fox. Fuad sticking with the same character he started Smash 4 with and ran all the way through. Beast, though, with some beautiful Squirtle throw combos. It's pretty much the flow of this character that you can expect. Squirtle, take him to 50, 60, and then switch on over to Ivysaur for that down throw to up the window. Yeah, and Beast, one of the best in this region. Not talked about much, the Philly region. Here in Tri-State, we normally talk about New Jersey, New York, even a bit CT. Yeah, even though it's New even, England in yeah. the Smash world, yeah. But we don't give Philly enough love. Light has his year pass. Yeah. But either way, yeah, Beast representing Philadelphia, the, the true third corner of yeah. the Tri-State region. The rest of PA, uh, y'all are Midwest. We don't, we don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Razor Leaf to up air. Still enough time to convert that. All the percent that Fuet had on him. Yeah. Kept it up. And now Charizard, a heavier character, and he basically can just live longer. Yeah, and that's Charizard's main utility, I'd say. He's got up smash and up B out of shield to respond to pressure. Yeah. And he's got that survival factor, as well as the ability to kill you with some stray hits, like forward air, yeah. back up, air if you have the timing. Up, Charizard's up smash like, what, frame six or something? I want to say seven, but it's very fast. Yeah, it, Either way, it's very fast. It, it's ridiculous. It was the fastest up smash in Smash 4, if I'm not wrong about that. One of them, for sure. Yeah. And, okay. Oh. Guy hit right out that flare bit. But now back to Squirtle where he got the most of his damage before. Yep, we just have to see what beast openers at this you know low mid percent, like the 20, 30, 35 range look like because from zero Squirtle's really dangerous, but then if you get some stray hits in first, you have to adjust your combo on the fly. And he just did down tilt out of show with the down smash Ooh. killer with Squirtle. Ooh. Isn't this the one not supposed to kill? Yep, forward smash pretty much his only real strong, powerful kill move. And we got, oh, uh oh, what do you have for this? There we go, the switch to Ivysaur just in time to interrupt Firefox with the down air. One of the most forgiving spikes in the game. It's got such a huge hitbox. It's all the same strength too. Yeah. It's nuts. Oh no, I think actually the the bottom tip is still a spike, but it's a weak spike. Is it? Oh. I'm not 100 percent sure. I, I looked at the hitbox though. And I'm pretty sure I just saw one pink sphere, yeah, like I one just look, uniform. Yeah, I just look at it and it's like, yo, this is it. Nothing else. Yeah. No, no weak spot. No, it's all strong. It's all gonna wreck you. And Beast, what a statement for that first game. Yeah. Fled, looking like he didn't even show up to the match. If I'm being real, and this is one of the best players in Montreal, yeah. one of the best in Canada. We've got Z behind him, his teammate, and uh, Smack Talk Extraordinaire. Yeah. Yep. He's definitely talking smack. He's talking smack to like big okay, Billy right there. Right there. Yo, you remember the, the Dre Charles story from Let's Make Moves? Yo. FC I World, C dude. FC <laughs> World. <laughs> I love C World. <laughs> I love C the C word. We got FNY and we got FC World. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Doing it for the C World. Fwed trying to take out a turtle here. <laughs> now we know who really hates C World. Yeah. He might. <laughs> Okay. He's just going off. Yeah, these 0 to 40 is looking airtight for him. And 58, I'd say that's prime Ivysaur time. Maybe one more hit just to win neutral. Get Fox out of your face. Then make the switch and the down throw to upbeat. Could be the stock very quickly. Yeah. Okay. Tried to get him off. He's content to stick with Squirrel. Even with these knocking, or even with knocking Fuet away. Yeah. Far enough to get the clean switch to Ivysaur. Ooh, maybe trying to read a spot yeah. dodge there. He, he was confident, and, but now switching into the Ivysaur and back throw almost taking it. Great choice by Fuet to go high, but still gonna get punished. Yeah, that back throw now stale, so it won't kill right there. Oh, into the up smash. I don't think that's what he wanted. He may have. Just a little bit off the mark. You see the landing forward air, not enough to get the kill here. And what are you doing? Down throw? Down, wow. Yeah. Didn't this, know that had this, that much power. Yeah, this, this character is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I think Ivysaur is one of the best characters in the whole game. Yeah, 3.0, help us. <laughs> nah, man. Keep it like that. Ivysaur was so bad in Brawl, we need some justice. Literally, probably worst character in the game. <laughs> or one of them. But either way, certainly not the case here in Smash Ultimate a full 10 plus years later. Yeah. Due time. Right, yeah. But speaking of that, he's struggling kind of in the, in the moment. We're going to see that ledge refresh. Patented oh. Ivysaur tech 
Oh, and yeah, Charizard, man. Charizard taking Ivysaur's spot in Brawl, uh, from Brawl, as the worst character <laughs> in the game, potentially. Look at that move just not connecting all the way through. Okay, and now just getting comboed on Squirtle and mm. getting red with that pivot grab. Red by Fled. That's what he does. He is cooking right now. These box strings so powerful, and we're going to see the switch to Ivysaur. I think Beast recognizing that he needs to close the stock out right now. Okay. And Ivysaur just the character to do it. Not going to go for a down throw attempt. I think he knows that the window has expired. Yeah. Missing the dash grab right there. Wow, oh. the raw back throw so strong. He at did the not edge. GI that. Yeah, you don't think so? No, I don't think. He flew. Yeah, Fox is so light, though. It's hard to tell sometimes. I like the Waveland movement from Beast, keeping himself ambiguous, not getting trapped on that platform. Yeah. And back to the back air strike? No. Ooh. That pivot grab looks honestly sad. Yeah. That was probably one of the most depressing pivot grabs I've seen in this game so far. Yeah, grabs overall in Smash Ultimate. A bit of a power reduction from the other iterations of Smash. Especially from Smash 4, where lots of characters had throws into their 50 oh. 50s, true kill setups, etc. Yeah, but Beast was just going off right there. Missed the conversion off the trip. And I like the use of the water gun just to push Fwed back. Yeah, just make you second guess or neutral. Do a little bit of mental damage, yeah. even though you're not putting anything up in terms of percent. Oh, ho, ho, so close to catching that roll. Don't think it would have been the KO there, of course. Squirtle. Having a strong forward smash, but not that strong of a forward smash. Okay, and now we see the switch into Ivy. Yeah, this is prime time right now for this character. We need to see a down throw near the edge for Beast to close this one out 2-0. Okay. At least immediately. Yeah, and using the reflex just so he can might get a conversion off of it. Oh, but calling on his grab. Ooh, the emergency switch. Using it like a pseudo air dodge there to escape pressure. Now. Beast actually played Charizard in Smash 4. Oh, so, really? Yeah. I thought he played Mario and Fox. Yeah, he played both. Just Mario. So, I, I want to see. I'm, I'm expecting good stuff from the Charizard. Yeah, I think that's the problem with a lot of PT players. They're good with the Squirtle grab combos. They're good with the Ivysaur kill confirms. But then when it comes time to play the big boy, they just kind of flounder yeah. a bit. So this oh. is a seasoned Charizard, and he's going to get up smashed immediately off a of whiffed up B. You know what's sad, man? Even if that connected, there was still a chance that Fox would have fallen out and been unsafe, unhit. Yeah. yeah. That's depressing. It is what it is, man. We're going to see a 1-1 set. Fwed rallying up from a pretty devastating game one loss. Yeah. So props to him, keeping his head on straight. Of course, great mentality is a big part of why these players are getting to this level. Fwed consistently, I'd say, in the top five of the Montreal rankings. Beast. I know he started getting good toward the end of Smash 4. I yeah. think the only PR I saw him on, he was like 10th in Philly. I believe so. Was that his peak? That, I Ninth believe he ten? made 8th. Okay. So I top 10 Philly yeah, player. Yeah. Versus top 5 Montreal player. Yeah. All right. Not bad at all, but Beast, I mean, right now, just the way he's looking, he's certainly on the higher end of that top 10 in yeah. Philly if I, haven't, uh, if I have to make a guess. And of course, a win on Fwed would definitely cement that statement. For him. And I like the dash dance that Fred did, because before he was just charging in, and he did that and grabbed Beast, and now he just has total momentum. Yeah, and two emergency switches right there, Almost just to get off this disadvantage. So much damage just from straight up airs or juggling over and over again, and he has not even gotten a single hit. Beast has to dig deep here, but instead gets hit by the deep inner part of that up smash. Real quick out of shield. Now you got Ivysaur. You don't have these 0 to 40 or 50 combos that are going to set you up into that down throw to Vine with KO range. Yeah. And I believe that was the first 0 to death we saw on stream today. With the likes of Tweak here having been on stream before. And these back airs coming out from Beast. Beast now just looks so flustered in the, the disadvantage situation. And maybe the Squirtle, switching the Squirtle who tried to regain some closure. Really surprised to see him again not switch to Ivysaur in these offstage situations. You'd think that at least down air or the increased kill power that you bring to the table when you make that switch could be enough to seal the stock. We'll see probably back throw to switch. No! Wow, Beast really riding this out with Squirtle. I'm pretty surprised. Okay, there he switches to Ivysaur. Very unconventional timing, but that might be his secret. Maybe. What is it? Back throw? Okay, living. 
use that flamethrower. Firebot, still a good move. Oh, absolutely. Pretty solid recovery, and we see him using the super armor on Charizard's up B to escape. He tanks the first hit of the up air, and ends up closing the stock. No fallout this time. Good job to him. That's how he lost the set last time, but take, it allowed him to take the stock this time. Oh, and, and that whiffed up smash, that could have been a big punish from Squirtle. He gets so much off with just a simple throw. Yeah, and I like to see Beast go back to using down tilt more. It netted him a lot of percent in the earlier games. With Squirtle, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it gets that knockdown, puts your opponent in a tech chase situation. If they miss, it's free damage. But now he's just going for the air to airs. Also need to see some grab action. Even probably at 35, I think Squirtle could take a solid 15, 20 damage conversion off a throw. And that will put you right where you need to be for Ivysaur. No, okay, never mind. If you went for forward throw there, to me that says he knows he had no other follow-ups. Yeah. Just off the mark. It looks like Beast had the read on that Fox Illusion. But instead, gonna get a dash dance. Makes him with the aerial. Easy up smash. Well, we, have, we are now down with Ivysaur. And is Ivysaur, other than that dare, it's not looking as clean as the Squirtle has been. Yeah, I think, again, to reference most other Pokemon trainers, Ivysaur is usually their best. Charizard's their worst. Squirtle right in the middle. For Beast, it seems like Squirtle is his most rehearsed yeah. one, for sure. He got Dare. Just missing. Yeah, not only did he mistime it, but the way that Fwed recovered, the angle he took, was very good yeah. to answer a move like that. And Beast trying to up you out was still in the upper loop. And taking 53, and now as Charizard, just trying to find to see if he could end the stock really early. Just trying to get one of these straight forward airs, maybe. Wed just keeping the pressure on from below so hard right now. And we see Beast stuck in the corner. Yeah, these runoff back airs. Beast keeps attempting them, but they're not panning out. And just missing the punish right there on Fox Illusion. And I like the lasers. Another up throw, will that do it? No, oh. that move just a bit too weak. It looks so strong, but it's not all that great in terms of kill power. Oh, and getting hit by the Fox Illusion. This is not looking good for Beast. Yeah, he's going to need a miracle if he manages to peel the stock off here. There? Wow, okay. 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 Don't think I've seen that before, but... You got it. Not too shocked. I guess they, they made a lot of Charizard's hits a bit more powerful. Except up throw, man. Rest in yeah. peace. <laughs> you say rest in peace. I'm like, thank you. Yeah, it's not that bad, but, you know. Right. It looks like it should be so much yeah. stronger. All right, Fwed, though, trying to get the kill shot in right now. He's got Beast stuck in the corner. Yeah, and this is where the charge that played from Beast has to come out, as I say that. No, nope, oh, he's living. heavy enough to live, yep, and that's why you've got this guy on your team. He's the tank, very much unlike the actual Pokemon game. So dangerous, trying to go for that ledge hop fair. Fwed just overshooting him a little bit with that back air. Now we've got this intense ledge situation continuing. Yeah, and the up smash ending it right there. Smart call from Fwed, knowing that Beast had grabbed the edge a second time. He wasn't going to be invincible. A lot of people, their go-to panic option is to just roll from that situation. And you could see it play out yet again. Edge trapping so tight from Fwed. The threat of that back air kept Beast on his back foot. And then as soon as he um, was forced to grab the ledge a second time, Fwed just sat there. He knew at roll distance, like, this is my best option. Yeah. Oh.